Lab safety. Before I start listing rules and regulations, there's one very simple one. It's don't be stupid. But it's easier said than done. Just please use your common sense. To start off, I'm going to give you some rules and regulations for even before you start your procedure or experiment. Firstly, do not start or do anything without teacher permission. For example, if you were told not to turn on that switch, please just don't turn on that switch because everyone knows this can happen in the snap of a finger. Always make sure you're working in an uncluttered area so that you don't damage yours or anyone else's belongings and never work in your technology because in case you didn't know, that stuff is very expensive. Make sure you're always wearing goggles and no, glasses do not count. Also, your hair should be tied back and you should have no dangling clothes or jewelry. Also, your shoes should always be closed toed. Make sure you know where all the safety equipment is, because usually when the teacher leaves the room, that's when the most fooling around happens. You should be able to protect yourself in case something happens. Watch out for these symbols as they are safety hazards and should be taken care of accordingly. Now I'm going to talk about the rules you should follow during your experiment. Absolutely no food, no drinks, or even gum, because in case you pick up that wrong cup, who knows what's going to happen. Do not pour anything down the sink without permission from Mr. Valance. I realize it's tempting, but do not touch the hot part of the hot glue gun, which is the metal part. Report any accidents, like spills, or any safety hazards to Mr. Valance. Make sure to never taste or smell anything. In case you need to know the smell of a substance, make sure to waft instead of directly smelling it. If you spill a substance on yourself, make sure to wash it right away. In case you are being stupid, not wearing goggles, and something got in your eye, use the eye wash. It doesn't matter if you don't like water in your eyes, it's better than losing them forever. If you have a tool that you're not using at that point, make sure to keep the safety lock on. Because in case someone knocks it over with their hand, it may stick into you and you may be bleeding and you may lose a toe. Finally, I'm going to talk about rules you should follow after you're done your procedure or experiment. Put everything back where you got it from and remember to put the safety locks on. Make sure to wash your hands after every experiment or procedure so that any substance that's not supposed to be on your hands is not on your hands. Follow these rules so you and everyone else can be happy. Thanks for listening. Created using Powtoon.